Shalom to the light, giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Vashem Yashai, Vashem Rakakadash, and giving double honor to the elder apostles, the elder bishops, the great millstone, who, uh, peace and salutation to the elect, started with 144,000 prophets. These are the men that have been bestowed this truth to preach the gospel to the rest of the remnant of believers, which are all Israelites, who will come to repentance and will receive the salvation on this side the one third of course <clears throat> the remnant the rest of the remainder the lord is going to have mercy upon on this side two thirds will be cut off and die here in babylon the great which is america and um you know we pray for the mercy of yahweh yahweh will be in the heavenly father by Hashem is in the name. Yahweh Shah is the only begotten son of the Heavenly Father. That's their pure names, the only names in the Hebrew. And the belongs to the apostles and elders of having said that. Shema Mafa is a Mapa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. Come to the lesson or we lesson. And when I had just uh, seen this um, come up, being um, this is the. Uh, 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 elder brother uh, Kazak um, or Kazak Yala, uh, possibly maybe uh, his uh, title at this time is a Hebrew name, but um, out of um, Great Millstone, uh, Mississippi, down in the south. And um, I haven't watched the video, but um, you have. Um, a question that was posed on a comment board which um, it said here uh, Shalom Elder Kazak which Kazak goes into strength by the way it says uh, in the Lord's Prayer at the end you when you read La Iwalam which noted forever I was given one that reads La Iwalamium would that mean forever forevers are forever and ever would this be considered incorrect <clears throat> and then in the reply you have it um i meant to say la i will um yum that was my mistake Uh, slip of the tongue, the water wa shalom. All right, so um, I'm just gonna go into something pretty basic, um, <clears throat> just uh, showing brothers uh, basically the use of the word in a uh, a verse. Now, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 107, in verse one, which it reads here. It says, uh, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endured forever. Okay, you see this written in the English. Now, when you go into the interlinear and go into the Mesotoric text, when you see, um, you got Hawadah Wa, which is give thanks, going back to, um, like uh Yada which goes into to give thanks or confess to shoot. Um just think about like um you know you 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 throwing up think when you uh joyful, you know, you throwing up thanks, you know, just think of that in the spirit with this Hebrew word. La is two Yahawa, the most high, Kaya is four, Tawab is good. Kaya for La I Wa Lum. All right, which is going into forever. All right, now when you go to this, as you can see, you have um, La I Wa Lum. All right, the La, and then you have I Wa Lum. I Wa Lum go back to or when you go into it go back to Ilam 
Ilam goes into uh, to conceal, to be hidden every secret, <clears throat> and you go to Iwalam, which it means a long duration. Okay, <clears throat> ever, everlasting, evermore, continual existence, perpetual. Okay. Long duration. I will long. All right. You have it here in the uh, it's child lexicon. Guess guessing this. Uh, sometimes I lam. I will lam, but sometimes I lam, which means what is hidden. Especially hidden time long. The beginning or end of which is either uncertain or else not defined. Eternity and perpetuality. It is used of time long past antiquity in following phrases. And you have I will um, and then you have uh it looked like a yum and you have a yum ya yeah, but I will have to look <clears throat> here in this verse which I can quickly just check Amos chapter 9 and verse 11 I'm going to check real quick what the hell is this Amos 9 and 11 Amos 9 and 11 Let me see. Maybe they use when the days are old. I will alarm. Yeah. The days are old. Talking about antiquity, right? <clears throat> yeah, the days are old. So, I will alarm. Okay. You can see that here. Of old, they using it. Okay. About some a long time. So just showing you some some usage <clears throat> and such. Let's see what else we got. I. leave it right there gum also all right so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is go back just uh, just basic oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy endured forever and then you see la I will which uh, the la at the beginning is a uh, as you say a preposition okay which it just means <clears throat> for all right in this case for all right the love means for okay in this case la for all right and that's it so I just wanted to cover that kind of in short. You know, I have to revisit, uh, or maybe not revisit, but um, <clears throat> when uh, uh, it was said about the I will lam him. You know, I had to uh, look into that. Which just would be like a, a plural. The yum make it like a masculine plural, but. Um, you know, after going to it, but uh, but just leave it right there so brothers can kind of get into uh, some of the basics, you know, going to different prefixes as, and such. And um, you know, obviously, you get into the suffixes and stuff too, 
but uh, just bringing out a, a short little lesson and a um, seeing you know some of the usage of La Iwalam, all right, or Iwalam as well. So Shalom until next time, and um, remember the Lord, He returned to us this language, our pure language that we can. Um, uh, as I tell you, this is uh, Zephaniah chapter 3 and 9. For then will I turn to the people of pure language that they may call upon the name of Yahweh to serve him with one consent. And also, it is a great labor to, um, to go into this Hebrew and such. And... And, uh, it, it, you know, we do a lot of it when you go through to the spirits. Obviously, I mean, the spirit, oh, you help by Shem El Shai. And, you know, guided, obviously, through the elder apostles, a great millstone. Okay. This is uh, the prologue of the wisdom of, of Yahweh Shai, the son of Sirach. Whereas many and great things have been delivered unto us by the law and the prophets. And our language is a great thing. Okay. Seeing the application of it. How it's spoken. You know, in the scriptures. How it's used. You know, it's very, very spiritual. And by others that have followed their steps for which things Israel ought to be commanded for learning and wisdom. Okay, so a lot of great things have been delivered on, on us to us, right? Through the law and the prophets. Um, and this is for learning and wisdom, okay? And whereas, whereof, pardon me, not only the readers must become skillful themselves, but also they that desire to learn be able to profit them which are without, both by speaking and writing, okay? Yeah, so by speaking and writing, and brothers should be able to speak some Hebrew, and brothers should be able to write some Paleo Hebrew, you know, um, at least, okay? You should have your Hebrew alphabet. You should be able to know the alphabet in the uh, Lashwan Kodash and read Assyrian and practice it, as you see me, you know, going through, you know, as I pull up. Mesotoric text in the interlinear and such. Okay. This is a skill that should be acquired from those that are uh, seeking uh, to, you know, get into their heritage into our language. All right, which is pure. Okay, so you know it's a very very uh, beautiful thing. Uh, pure. Let me see if I can get something. This is Psalm chapter 12 and 6. The words of Yahweh are pure words. Okay, so the words of the Lord are pure words. All right. Amar Rath. Amar Wath. Yahweh. Sayings, words. Yahweh the Most High. Amar Wath. Same thing, words. Uh, you have Tahar Wath. Okay, to har wath, which is a way of saying pure, and a um, mass, uh, sake, a feminine plural. The wath would make it feminine plural. Okay, just going into the gra grammar. That's in the suffix, right? The wath, right there. The root is to har, or um, yeah, going uh, to har all the way, but it's to hawar. Okay, going to clean or pl uh, plural. I mean, clean or, or, or pure, pardon. Um, from Tahar, going into being clean or pure. All right. The words, and then, and then you got uh, Kasap. Kasap is silver, also can be money. Uh, and you have uh, Tazarap. I'm not familiar with that word, which is tried. And you have um, 
ba in i la y'all which uh going into a furnace i i ill are ill y'all are ill ya law all yeah um i'm not familiar with that word get familiar which is a furnace okay working over metal all right <clears throat> in the earth la watasa okay a watasa being that root being earth and you have ma zakwak going into purified going into zakwak which going into refine or distill or strain <clears throat> to purge and you have uh shabai <clears throat> just shabai uh let's say let me get that shabai the yum the yum shabai the yum going that back shabai going into seven times as much seven shabai uh, right so yeah, you know, just going into it. The words of the Lord are pure words as silver try in the furnace and purify seven times. All right, so get the understanding of the Hebrew words. Understand them for yourself. There's there's whole worlds in the Hebrew language. You know, as I'm going to show you, you just gotta be in the spirit. All right, the Lord will reveal it to you. So um, yeah, the Lord reveals uh, you know beautiful things for those that fear Him. You know, the secrets. So, uh, Shalom to the elect. All praise the Yahweh Shem Hashem Shem Or, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so be true, but, uh, <laughs> Shalaki, I'm in the spirit, but, uh, yeah, Shalom, Makim.